Hey everybody, I'm Ryan and welcome back to 113 Cycles. Today, we're gonna to be stripping and cleaning a LS 6.0 engine and getting it ready for paint. Now this is the LS engine that we're gonna be putting in a 1996 Volvo along with eight other YouTube channels. They're all coming to this shop and we're gonna have five days in order to put this engine in the Volvo and get it running and driving. Make sure you guys check out the links down below. All of the channels involved are gonna be listed down there. We'll be doing live streaming uh, throughout the week on each individual channel at different times. So if you subscribe to each of them, you'll have a better idea when that's gonna happen with it. Uh, we'll also be doing some live streams at night. Same type of deal, we'll be on different channels. So make sure you check those out. So, all right, let's get into stripping this engine down. We've got the accessories that we're gonna pull off on it. And then like I said, we'll clean and prep everything, get it, get the rust off of it and everything, get it ready for primer and paint. So. Let's get to it. kids screaming in the park back there because they're out having fun it's a beautiful day so we're going to pressure wash this we've uh stuffed towels in the intakes um the exhaust stuff everything's plugged off with aluminum tape we're hoping that works really well you can see we've got all the accessories off with it um i think there was an oil leak on the front of that pan that's why that that looks like it's like that i think it just blew back blah 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 anyways so we got it all plugged up we are going to bust out the pressure washer here and some degreaser and get to cleaning on this so Here's your before. All right, let's get to spraying. Mm -hmm.
I sprayed it down with the rust remover, worked it all around with the brush. Uh, you can see it dripping down there. You can see where it's already discolored the concrete before I sprayed that stuff off. So seems like it might work pretty good. And we're just kind of waiting. Don't let it dry. I just did this one side. We'll see how it turns out. All right, it's been right at 30 minutes. I went over it with the paintbrush um, just to work it around a little bit. A couple spots where it kind of dried off a little bit. So now we're ready to rinse it off. It is a little cool, so I'm not sure how well it's going to work at pulling this rust off. But uh, let's give it a shot. Guessing that's where rust has been converted, maybe. Because uh, as soon as I hit it with the air, it immediately changed over to that white stuff. And that's some of the heavier rusted areas, I do believe. You probably remember more from the video. You walk over here. I had to move it to where it's right by my heater uh, that's on. So the heater is blowing kind of directly on it. Hopefully you're not getting a lot of wind noise. But kind of see what we're looking at here. It is progress, not what I was hoping for, but it is some progress. And this is the same side that I hit with the wire wheel earlier, so. All right, next step coming. All right, we have gotten the engine cleaned. We're getting ready to paint it. Uh, see our crudiment uh, tape job there. Got some notebook paper on here, basically just to and hold it off, but uh, I did that side, and Cletus did the other side over here, uh, which you guys didn't see, but it was the exact same thing I did. So, um, so we're ready to get paint on it. Gonna get a good look of it there before we do that. He's got some, the brightener, aluminum bright stuff, whatever it is, to uh, clean up the heads on it. So, there's your look at it before we paint it. Hopefully we'll get some paint on, primer on it first today. <laughs> 